Bogdan Kam. Heavenly Father, we are in awe of the wonder and the power of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who for the sake of sin came to be with us and defeat his power and also the power of death, and then rise from the dead and then ascend into heaven to graciously rule in our hearts and the hearts of all believers everywhere. We are grateful for the many continuous blessings that you bring to each and every one of us in our lives. And so if we joyfully pray this prayer in the name of our ascended Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 并仁慈地在我们和世界各地的信徒心中掌权。我们感谢你为我们每一个人的生活带来了许多源源不断的祝福。我们欢欢喜喜地奉圣天、圣天的主耶稣基督的名祷告。阿门。Our greeting for this morning comes to the epistle comes from the epistle of Jude. To those who are called who are beloved in God the Father and kept safe for Jesus Christ. May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Today is the seventh and final Sunday of Easter. Next Sunday we will be celebrating the coming of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Today we are commemorating the ascension of our Lord into heaven. If we were to illustrate the ascension, we might use something like a balloon, a balloon filled with helium, and then watch it rise above the earth into the sky and eventually disappear from sight. When children and adults release balloons into the sky, they look up and follow their movement with their eyes for as long and as far as they can see. They watch the balloons become smaller and smaller until they can no longer see them anymore, and then they look down and around to see where they are and think about what they had just seen. This is what happened in our first reading for today, as we'll hear from the Gospel of Luke. 如果要说清楚升天是怎么一回事，我们可能会使用像充满了氦气的气球之类的东西，看着它从地球升到天空。最终从视线中消失这正是我们今天第一次读经中引用的路加读音中的经文所发生的事情。So Luke writes, When they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses to in Jerusalem, and all Judea and Samaria, and to all the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and the cloud took him out of their sight. Bushi 
，他们正看的时候，他就背起象征，有一朵云彩把他击去，便看不见他。While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them, and they said, "Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven?" This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. When he went up, they looked up at him. Suddenly, two men in white robes stood by him. They said, "Galileans, why are you standing here looking up at heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven." He will come in the same way. The ascension of the Lord was a time of great excitement and joy. Much like children releasing helium balloons into the sky, the disciples watched with joyful anticipation and amazement as the risen Lord was lifted up into heaven. The Lord's ascension is a very joyful and exciting time. It's like children releasing balloons into the sky, the disciples watched with joyful anticipation and amazement as the risen Lord was lifted up into heaven. 或者是氦气球。当他们复活的主被提升天的时候，门徒们带着快乐的期盼和惊喜在观看。The ascension was a long time promise that Jesus had made on numerous occasions to his followers. The disciples had heard more than once that Jesus was going to die on the cross, he was going to rise from the grave, and then he was going to ascend into heaven. 升天是长久以来耶稣在许多场合对他的追随者做出的承诺。门徒们不止一次听到过耶稣讲述自己将被钉死在十字架上，三天以后从坟墓中复活，然后升天。For example, on Easter Sunday, on the morning of his resurrection, in the garden near the empty tomb, Jesus said to Mary, "Do not hold on to me." Because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. 例如，在复活节主日的当天，耶稣的空坟墓附近的花园里复活的早晨，对他对玛利亚说：“不要摸我，因为我还没有升上去见我的父。你往我弟兄那里去。”告诉他们说，我要升上去见我的父，也是你们的父；见我的神，也是你们的神。And then earlier than on that, on another occasion, Jesus said these words to his disciples: "I will be with you for a little while longer, and then I am going to Him who sent me. You will search for me, but you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come." 然后，在主复活之前的另外一个场合，耶稣对他们的门徒说了这些话：“我还有不多的时间和你们同在，以后就会差我回到差我来的那里去。你们要找我，却找不着；我所在的地方，你们不能到。” In John chapter fourteen, Jesus said, "Very truly I tell you." The one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. In John 14, verse 14, the Lord said, "I am telling you what I am doing. The works that I am doing, you will do, and you will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father." In addition, Jesus said, "I came from the Father." And I've come into the world again. I am leaving the world, and I'm going to the Father. 还有，耶稣也说过，在约翰福音十六章二十八节那里，我从父出来，到了世界，我又离开世界，往父那里去。He also included with his words an important blessing for all of us. In John chapter fourteen, verses one through three, he said, "Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God." Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. His words 
还包含了对我们所有人的重要祝福。在约翰福音十四章一到三节中，他说：“你们心里不要忧愁，你们信神也当信我。在我父的家里有许多住处，若是没有，我就早已告诉你们了。我去原是为你们预备地方去。”我若去为你们预备了地方，就必再来接你们到我那里去。我在哪里，叫你们也在哪里。These words of hope that Jesus shared with his followers helped them to understand who he was, where he had come from, and where he was going. The disciples were prepared for their final time on earth with him, and during the forty days following his resurrection from the dead. He had appeared to them numerous times to reassure them, to strengthen their faith, and to prepare them for the future. He was going to ascend into heaven, and they were going to receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus with his disciples shared these hopeful words, and helped them understand who he was, and where he was going. The disciples had already prepared for the final hours of their life. 做好了准备，在主耶稣从死里复活后的四十天里，主耶稣多次向他们显现，以安抚他们，增强他们的信心，并为他们的未来做好准备。主耶稣要升天，而他们则要领受圣灵。So the disciples returned to Jerusalem and spent the next seven days together in prayer until the day of Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit descended upon them and the other believers, Acts chapter one says, "Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey is away." When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. The eleven disciples were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. You see. 门徒们回到耶路撒冷，在接下来的七天里一起祷告，直到五旬节当天，圣灵降临在他们和其他信徒身上。《使徒行传》一章十二到十三节，那里的经文说，有一座山名叫橄榄山，离耶路撒冷不远，约有安息日可走的路程。当下，门徒从那里回到耶路撒冷去。进了城，就上了所住的一间楼房。十一个门徒不断的专心祈祷。这些人同着几个妇人和耶稣的母亲玛利亚，并耶稣的弟兄，都同心合意的恳切祷告。People of faith know when to pray. It comes naturally by way of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit fills the hearts and minds of all believers with thoughts and feelings. That lead to prayer. 有信仰的人知道什么时候要祈祷。祷告是通过圣灵自然而来的。圣灵用教导祷告的思想和感觉，充满所有信徒的心灵和思想。First Thessalonians 5:16-20 brings us these words: Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Thessalonians 5:16-22 brought us these words. We must always pray, because this is God's will in Christ Jesus for you. 不要消灭圣灵的感动，不要蔑视先知的讲论，但要凡事查验，善美的要持守，各样的恶事要禁戒不做。People of faith know when to pray. They know not to quench the Spirit. They know not to ignore the Holy Spirit, for it is the Spirit that leads us to pray. It is the Spirit that gives us faith. It is the Spirit that teaches us and enables us to have discernment and to be able to distinguish good from bad, right from wrong. It is the Holy Spirit that establishes the church and builds it up. The Holy Spirit brings new believers into the church and strengthens the body of Christ. 
。有信仰的人知道什么时候祈祷，他们知道不要消灭圣灵的感动，他们知道不要忽视圣灵。因为引导我们祷告的是圣灵，是圣灵给我们的信心，是圣灵教导我们，使我们有分辨力，能分别善恶是非，是圣灵建立并造就教会，圣灵将新信徒带入教会，并坚固基督的身体。People of faith know that the Holy Spirit also assists when it is difficult to pray, when one is at a loss for words. As Romans 8:26 and 27 says, likewise the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. 有信仰的人都知道，当祷告困难时。圣灵也会提供帮助。当一个人不知所措时，正如罗马书八章二十六到二十七节那里所说：“况且我们的软弱有圣灵帮助，我们本不晓得当怎样祷告，只是圣灵亲自用说不出来的叹息替我们祷告，鉴察人心的，晓得圣灵的意思，因为圣灵照着神的旨意。”Following the ascension, it was the anticipation of the coming of the Holy Spirit that led the believers to be together and to devote themselves to prayer. Their hearts were filled with hope and expectation. They believed in the promises of the ascended Lord Jesus Christ. They were committed to serving Him in their thoughts, their words, and their actions. 主耶稣升天之后，正是对圣神降临的期盼。使信徒们聚集在一起，并献身于祷告。他们的心中充满了希望和期待。他们相信升天的主耶稣基督的应许。他们致力于在心思意念、言语和行动上侍奉他。Today we are blessed with the invitation to pray. Our heavenly Father has commanded us to pray and has promised to hear us. We have the help and the assistance of the Holy Spirit with our prayers. We have the Lord's words of the Lord's prayer that Jesus taught us. What more do we need? Nothing. We have everything. We have Jesus. We have the forgiveness of our sins. We have the freedom to speak to the Lord freely through our prayers. Today, we have the opportunity to pray and have the opportunity to pray and have the opportunity to pray. 我们的天父要求我们祷告，并应许会垂听我们。我们的祷告得到圣灵的帮忙和协助。我们有耶稣教导我们的主导文。我们还需要什么吗？没有什么了。我们拥有一切。我们有耶稣，我们的罪得到了赦免。我们有自由，通过祷告向主敞开心扉，诉说我们想说的话。This morning we have our reading from the first chapter of Acts that took us to Bethany, outside of Jerusalem, at the Mount of Olives. Bethany is located on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho, at the Mount of Olives. That is where Mary, Martha, and Lazarus had lived. The village was a place where Jesus also liked to stay, and Bethany was the location for the raising of Lazarus. 今天第一次读经中，《使徒行传》的第《使徒行传》第一章的经文带我们来到了一个地方，叫做伯大尼。它位于耶路撒冷城外的橄榄山。伯大尼位于从耶路撒冷到耶路哥的路上，在耶橄榄山上，那里是玛利亚、马大和拉萨路居住的地方。村庄是耶稣喜欢停留的地方。Today, Bethany is known as El Azariya, which means the place of Lazarus. Apparently, today it is rather untidy and a rundown village on the southeast slope of the Mount of Olives. A fair number of fig trees, almond trees, and olive trees surround the houses. The traditional tomb of Lazarus is located there. Along the rock-cut tombs of a much earlier date, 
This makes sense, as Lazarus was placed in a nearby tomb after he died. Ying the Mount of Olives is a mountain ridge east of and adjacent to Jerusalem's old city. It is named for the olive groves that once covered its slopes. It is a site where Jesus ascended into heaven. The Garden of Gethsemane is also located there. And these important sites remind us that Jesus humbled himself to come to earth and to rescue us from the bondage of sin. <laughs> Like the original disciples, we know to pray in good times as well as uncertain times. We know prayer is essential for comfort, for sustenance, and for guidance. After the disciples witnessed the ascension of the Lord, they returned to Jerusalem from Mount Olivet, where they had been staying. We can summarize the importance of the ascension by reading this verse from the Gospel of John where Jesus said, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. 结论就是，我们可以通过今天福音读经所选的约翰福音中，耶稣所说的这段经文来总结圣天的重要性。然而，我将真情告诉你们，我去是与你们有益的；我若不去，保惠师就不到你们这里来；我若去，就差他来。The ascension has brought us the Holy Spirit. And made us strong. We need to become independent. We need to have confidence. A child learns to ride a bike when he trusts what he is taught, and then the child knows enough to balance with even without training wheels and pedals. An employee develops autonomy when she is allowed to rely on her training and education and trust her employer to leave her alone and allow her to do her job. <laughs> 我们需要自立我们需要信心这个故缘就会更加独立。These two short illustrations can help us see where we are in our faith in the Lord. We know that Jesus had to die, and then rise from the grave, and then on the day of ascension, leave the earth. Now we can learn to trust Him by faith, remembering the words of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. 这两个简短的例子可以帮助我们看到我们对主的信心在哪里。我们知道耶稣必须死，然后从坟墓中复活，然后在升天日离开我们。现在我们学习凭信心依靠他。
，记住希伯来书十一章一节的话：信就是所望之事的实底，是未见之事的确据。We know the truth of 1 Peter 1, 8 through 9. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. We know the truth of 1 Peter 1, 8 through 9. We know the truth of 1 Peter 1, 8 through 9. We know the truth of 1 Peter 1, 8 through 9. 如今虽不得看见，却因信，他就信他，就有说不出来的满有无光的大喜乐，并且得着你们信心的果效，就是灵魂的得救。We understand the wisdom of Ephesians chapter t verse 19, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. 我们明白以佛所书三章十九节教导我们的智慧，并知道这爱是过于人所能测度的，便叫神一切所充满的，充满了你们。And we cherish the insight of Second Corinthians 5:7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. 我们珍惜哥林多后书五章七节教导我们的洞察力。因我们行事为人是凭着信心，不是凭着眼见。And we respect the words of Jesus, who in John chapter 20 verse 29 said, "Thomas said to him, 'My Lord and my God.'" And Jesus said to him, "Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe." 我们非常。敬重耶稣在约翰福音二十章二十九节说的那一段话，多玛说：“我的主，我的神。”耶稣对他说：“你因看见了我才信，那没有看见就信的有福了。” Jesus Christ has ascended into heaven. We are ready for the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's prepare ourselves through our prayers. Amen. 主耶稣已经升天，我们已经准备好接受圣灵的能力。让我们通过祷告来准备好自己。阿门。